Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Animation Tip. I am your host, Andrew Tan, and today I'm going to show you another script that I use very, very often at my workplace and when I animate uh, my personal work. And it's totally free. Let me show you how it works. Let me show you. All right. Just to, for the sake of demonstration, I'll make this linear. Okay, so let's say I have this animation, right? Uh, playback for you. It's just one second of the ball going from one end to the screen to the other. You can see it's very linear, right? That we don't want that. We don't want that in our animation. So I have this script. Tween machine. It's not my script. It's a script that I found online. Um, what it does is it creates in between keyframes, between two keyframes, <laughs> creating a keyframe in the middle between two keyframes in a certain value that you want. So let me explain. Let's say I want it to ease out. So I want the spacing to be smaller and then slowly get bigger and bigger as it goes. And then I want it to slow down and get the spacing gets smaller and smaller, right? Like animation, easing is out. Easing is out. So let's say I'll go here and I'll move this slider to about here, 20%. 20%? Yeah. Alright, 20%. You can see that it's, uh, it slows and then it speeds up. And you can see it creates a keyframe for you, so you don't have to do it. This is, it makes it much faster. And let's see out here, I want it to ease out. So I move the slider to about 90%. <coughs> Oop, too much. Right. Okay, let me change this to sp spline so it looks a little prettier. Yep, it's there. It's getting there. Almost. Yeah. Uh, okay, this. let's say this is what I want, right? So that's pretty much it for the script. Uh, there are these little buttons that I've never tried before. There's an overshoot, but I don't recommend it. It's it gets very messy, especially if you have a character with different type of axis, different type of rotations, and that would ruin things. So I wouldn't recommend using that. Just use this, and then there are little micro buttons down here, so you can shortcut 20%, 30%, 40%, uh, macros, right? And imagine this slider to be uh, 0% to 100. Ignore this number, it makes no sense, because in the middle, it's zero and then back here it's negative 90. I don't get it. So ignore that number. What's this? Oh this does nothing? What? Okay. Alright let me show you where to get this. Let me show you. Now this website Creative Crash you can find all your scripts and most of the scripts that I'll show you you can find it here. Most of them are free. I'll show as many free ones as possible. Some will be paid, but I would say it's worth it. If I show it to you, then it's worth it. <laughs> right? So this is Twin Machine. This is the one I'm using. Twin Machine. And there's another one called B Tweener. But I do not use this. Um, apparently, you can manipulate the graph editor. I don't need that. But if you want to give this a try, you can give it a go. Everybody has different workflows. It's totally free. Just register for the, web register for the website and just download it. And there are instructions below on how to install it. It's a pretty straightforward process. Um, yeah, that's all for today. Um, I'll be making more of these animation tip videos to help you with your animation to kind of speed up your workflow, to make you a better animator. Uh, yeah, these are all things that I found on my own uh, through trial and error, and just suddenly, sudden, sometimes I just bump into it. And I wish I had this when I was studying. And I was uh, still animating uh, beginner stages. But uh, I'm going to show that to you so you don't have to go through that phase of being lost. And just, yeah, you don't skip all the failure and the errors. All right, that's all for today. Um, I'll see you again next week where I make more of these videos. Okay, bye.